And we begin with the death of an Illinois DCFS worker who police say was stabbed to death while making sure children were safe in a home near Springfield. It's first tonight on News 8 at 10. Illinois State Police say Deidre Silas was checking in on six children at a home in Thayer, Illinois, when she was attacked late yesterday afternoon. Police later arrested Benjamin Reed, who lived at the home. He's charged with murder and aggravated battery with a deadly weapon. Silas had just begun working for DCFS last August after spending more than seven years with the Illinois Department of Juvenile Justice. And her death comes nearly four years after Whiteside County DCFS worker Pam Knight was beaten to death while performing a welfare check in Carroll County. And as News Age Jenna Webster now tells us, this latest news is renewing an effort from some state lawmakers and Knight's own family to push for better protections for DCFS workers. It's new tonight on News 8 at 10. Last night. The stabbing of a child welfare worker Tuesday night is just another painful reminder for Don Knight. It's a very sad state today. Uh, and I'm very hurt about this. His wife, Pam, spent over a decade as a DCFS worker. In September 2017, she was doing a welfare check when she was attacked by the child's dad, Andrew Suker. Hit her in the head with one blow with his fist, knocked her down, and he took a steel-toed shoe and kicked her in the head three times and destroyed the left side of her brain. Took her life right there. She passed away five months later, and Suker was sentenced to 21 years in prison. Knight is fighting to protect DCFS workers in her honor. This is what she would have wanted me to do. Right now, the punishment for hurting a worker on the job is two to five years. But State Representative Tony McCombie has tried several times to pass a bill that would increase it to 10, the same as assaulting a cop, firefighter, or teacher. They all have the same, if they have an aggravated battery charge against them, the charge is the same. Now, if you're a DCFS caseworker, no. And Knight says the death of Deirdre Silas Tuesday has lit a fire under him to get this bill passed. I will be making more trips to the Capitol, and Pitzer better listen to me this time because he didn't listen to me last time. Representative McCombie says she's ready to fight for this bill again. I don't think we're going to have any problems in the House passing it because we get it. Now, the Senate's going to have to get their act together and get this bill passed. It's got to change. It's got to change big time. I'm going to spend the rest of my life right now again working on this. And joining us is News Age Jenna Webster. And Jenna, this bill isn't the only change that Don Knight really wants to see right now, right? Yeah, that's right, Jim. Part of Knight's argument is that these DCFS workers are here to protect the kids, but someone needs to be protecting the protectors. So he wants to see a reform of the entire system where workers can spend more time reviewing a case so they're not going into situations blind. They can also then decide if they need to bring police officer with them to certain situations. First responders in a very different way. All right, thanks so much. Now, the bill did pass in the Illinois House in 2021, but as you heard, was shut down in the Illinois State Senate. Representative McCombie says she plans to bring up the bill once again in the session that's just started down in Springfield.